Well, we know that life can be a slippery slope full of adventures and experiences, but you never really lose what's in your roots. Jim Dinger lived all over the country before moving to Lexington. Over the years, he felt part of his roots drifting away. Earlier this week, he told Evening Edition's Austin Pollock the key is putting one skate in front of the other and the passion will follow. That's in this Positively LEX 18. A sky painted purple drapes over white metal, blue italicized lettering, and tradition. Yeah, and it just it went on from there, from 81 to present day. Since 81, <laughs> Jim Dinger's chuckle echoes off the walls and fills the space capped by a soaring ceiling. The uh, thoroughblades came into town, and that really gave it a spark. There was more people uh, that got interested in hockey. His interest began as a boy in central Pennsylvania. I became an ardent Hershey Bear fan. We wore sweatshirts you know, <laughs> and, uh, and jeans and rolled newspapers up and used them for shin guards. We aren't entirely sure if that's what Jim wore one night in Lexington in August of 81. We, quote, played that night. Somewhere around August 21st or 22nd, it was a Friday, we put the last screws and the boards down here. The screws that fasten the board and the rink for the future. Right now, at my age, it's not so much winning. Oh, good shot! It's uh, <laughs> the beauty of the teamwork. His age, you might ask? <laughs> I'm 78. I've lived in four different houses here in Lexington, but I've always skated here. Here, where Jim skates the way for the new generation. I would much rather give a beautiful pass to somebody and let them score than just score myself. Shoot, Rach! It was pretty cool to, to see the little guys. And of course, in those days, we didn't have the equipment that they have now. Not a boy, good pass! Oh! <laughs> but what they do have. This building means to me a sense of relaxation, a sense of camaraderie. A building where Jim helped build that very camaraderie. <laughs> I was watching. In Lexington, Austin Pollock, Evening Edition. Oh.